Hey guys, it's uh, Paintball7734 Sits here. Today we are doing a review on the Proto Reflex Rail 2012 edition. Uh, to start off, we have a um, newer ASA by Die. It is a simple turn, as you can see. You just simply have to turn it to uh, turn it on. It's an on off ASA. Um, at first, it is a little bit hard to turn. But uh, after you break it in a little, use it a couple of times, uh, it'll be fine. We have a Hyper 3 inline regulator here. Um, it doesn't look uh, similar to um, the DM12 or the NTs just because of the fact that it doesn't have the as much uh, grip as they do. But it's the same exact regulator, um, same piston, same everything. Uh, you do get a little bit of um, grip right here and right here, these two right here. This right here, it kind of looks in pictures, it kind of looks like it's a uh, grip, but it's actually kind of a softer, more comfortable feel for the comfort of your finger right there. Um, then we have a nice little board. There is an LED uh, right here, so whenever you're looking down the marker, you can see the light, and then there's also one on the side right here. Um, it's a pretty simple uh, board to operate. Uh, you do have to open up the grips to go into programming modes and whatnot. Um, it has two buttons, um, power button and an eyes button. When it's blinking, the eyes are off. Um, it does have a battery indicator when you first turn it on, as you can see, blue. Um, and then it turns red because nothing's in the breach. But blue pretty much means that I have a nice battery. It will be yellow if the battery is low. Um, the reach trigger, uh, also on the DMs and NTs. What's special about this trigger is you can adjust the angle. So say if you want a really um, wide angle, you can adjust it without um, adjusting the farness of the micro switch activation. So pretty much instead of like, I don't know why you would want it, but um, pretty much you could have it up here and still have the same length of pull as you would down here. So um, it's customizable to every single player. Um, it does have a spring tension and a return and you know kind of standard um, trigger adjustable. The feed neck, it is a lever locking feed neck. Um, it's toolless. Pretty much what you do is you untighten, then you turn this to um, tighten and untighten uh, your feed neck. Um, let's see, the bolt. I have it out of the marker right now, right here. Um, it's just kind of a standard, you know, die proto bolt. Um, of course, you have a giant. Uh, bolt bumper inside of the beer can right here, but eh, it's just kind of a standard bolt. Um, the barrel, you do come with a, a two-piece 14-inch um, barrel. The back is a 690, and I wanted a smaller bore, so I got a 684 ultralight. It is ultralight compatible, so pretty much, as you can see here, you can save yourself $50 and just buy the back by itself um, and just use the front that came with your uh, marker originally so uh, saving money there um, that is pretty much it uh, thank you